Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my Sephora VIB haul and I'm really really excited to be filming this video but honestly somebody didn't want me to make this video because oh my god I went through so many little struggles to get this filmed. I filmed this already twice. I just I don't want to put anything out that I'm not proud of and I'm not like 100%. If I felt like I could have showed a product a little better or talked about something a little more clear and concise. I don't want to put out, like, just um, to put it on. So, yeah, I filmed this twice already, and I was like, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to delete that footage. I can do better. Well, yesterday morning, I don't know. The Lord was testing me. I live in, like, a really negative city. I don't want to go off on, like, a tangent, but I do. Like, a lot of people here are just very, like, nasty and mean and just negative. And I had, like, a little encounter with a woman yesterday, and she was just super nasty and just, like... It really good got to me. Like, I want to be, like, in a better place. I want to surround myself with, like, positive energy. That shit is, like, contagious. And I feel like in my hometown, I can't. And, um, I don't know. Like, I just kind of broke down. Like, I was, like, texting my boyfriend while he was at work. I'm, like, crying. Like, we need to move. And after he, like, calmed me down, I was like, you know what? I'm going to film. It'll probably make me feel a little bit better. Um, so I did my makeup. I got dressed. I put on a cute outfit. And... I went to light a candle because I was like, oh, cute little candle in my background. Always looks really cute when girls have candles burning in their background. And I couldn't find a lighter. So I grabbed a book of matches and I sparked one and I was lighting. It's like a big three-wick candle. So I lit the first one, lit the second one. I was trying to light the third one and not even realizing, like, I'm holding the match like this. Like, you're supposed to hold the match straight up. So I'm like holding the match down, trying to light this candle. And I noticed like two flames and one is coming from the match and one is my nail on fire. Like literally like flames shooting out of my nail. So I was just having an off day. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take today. I'm off. I can be peaceful and I can film and it's daytime. And yeah, I'm going to try to film a better video for you guys. And it'll be my Sephora haul and... Hopefully it isn't too long, because I know a lot of people are like, is this bitch serious? Does she think we're going to watch her 20-minute video? Like, please. But I'm sorry, I shop a lot, and I have a lot of products, and I swatch things, and I kind of review them for you, so don't be mad at me. So just keep watching if you want to see what I picked up at the Sephora VIB Spring Sale. Um, so the first thing I just want to get out the way is I renewed my VIB Rouge status, I guess, until like 2016. It's just a little baby Marc Jacobs lipstick. And it's really cute. I like this better than my first VIB welcome package. It was a Bite Beauty um, lipstick and I did not like it. And I like this one a lot better. So it's just a little baby Marc Jacobs lipstick. And it's just in a really, really pretty classic blood red color. So that is the shade right there. And then I guess I'll just start with the thing I was, I guess, the most excited for and my biggest purchase in this haul. I bought myself a Foreo Luna Mini. And I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this all over. It's just a cleansing tool. Um, but instead of it being like actual bristles or a brush head like the Clarisonic, this is a completely silicone kind of tool for your face. Um, you turn it on, it's battery operated, you turn it on with this button and it kind of vibrates and pulsates and you use it on your face to get off your makeup and cleanse yourself at the end of the day. And I was really, really interested in this. I've seen this all over, but I kind of never wanted to shell out the money for this because it is pretty expensive. It's like... 130 or 140 somewhere but I thought now that I have the 15% off um it was just a perfect time to buy this and try it out I've been using just my hands to cleanse my face for like the past year um but I thought this would be nice and something a little extra and I don't know I just wanted to splurge on something skincare and this was it the next thing that I picked up is this Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, and these are their new primers that came out. Um, I picked up mine's in number 2, which is the Smoothing Primer, and that is how it looks right there. It's just a little gray tube, and when you push out the product, it's actually like, if you've used Benefits Professional, it looks exactly like that, and it feels exactly like that. So when you push it out the tube, it's like kind of like skin tone. And then when you rub it in, it just goes clear and it's really, really smoothing. It just, it feels just like professional, honestly. I picked this one because 
Honestly, when I looked at them in the beginning, I was like, I know I'm either getting nourishing, hydrating, or radiant yellow. Um, the Radiancy one, just because I love looking like dewy and luminous. Um, the Nourishing or Hydrating one is because my skin is dry. So I definitely thought I was going to get one of those. But I don't know. I felt like I wanted to try the smoothing one just because I have like acne scarring and stuff on my face. And I just wanted to see if this Makeup Forever one was going to be a little better and make my skin look a little more uniform and just one texture. Because I do, I have like a lot of redness. You can see my pores are not like a huge issue. I have a lot of scars on my face from acne or from just random scarring that I have on my face. So I wanted to try that out and see how it worked. And I used it today. And I liked it. It just reminds me exactly of professional. So I don't know. I'm going to keep it because I did like how smooth my skin looked. Like it really, really smooths out your skin. Another primer that I picked up is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. And I've had this before. Um, I recently just kind of ran out of that primer. So I bought a new one and I just bought the baby size. And this one um, was $18.00. The next thing that I picked up is this Kaplan MD Perfect Pelt Lip Mask Plus Lip Balm Duo. And this is just a little kind of, I guess like a trial set that you can try this Kaplan MD brand. It comes with a little lip mask in a jar. And I used this last night um, and I really, really like the mask. It comes with a spatula also so you can like scoop out a little bit and put it on your lips. Um, I really, really like the mask. It's supposed to kind of tingle when it goes on, and I think it said that was like the papaya enzymes in it or something like that. I left it on for like three minutes last night after I got home from work because I was tired and it was like three in the morning, so I was just like, I want to try this, but I'm super tired to leave it on for like five minutes. Um, but I did like the feeling of the mask. And then it also comes with a tiny little lip balm, and you're supposed to put this on right after you use the mask. And, um... I did like this. Um, the balm wasn't my favorite, but I really, really like the matte. The next thing that I picked up is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I know I'm pretty late to the game with this one, but when I first saw this, I was like, nope, not getting it. I don't need it. It looks gimmicky. I don't want it. And Smashbox honestly isn't my favorite brand. Um, anything that I usually try from Smashbox... I don't like a lot of their skin products like foundations and primers break me out really bad um and i don't know i just i've kind of strayed away from the brand as a whole i don't really have a lot of smashbox products um but everybody's like raving about this and how good it is so i don't know i just had to try it out for myself and then i really wanted a new eyelash curler if you've seen any of my past videos i've mentioned that i have a mac um eyelash curler and it pinches my eyes so bad like, but I picked up this Shiseido eyelash curler because I have heard like a few good things about this one um it was like 20 bucks so hopefully it works hopefully it's better than my MAC one and just doesn't pinch my eye the next thing that I picked up I'm really 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 excited about um hopefully I found like my holy grail eye makeup remover it is by philosophy and it's called just release me that's the way it looks right there. I think this is an online exclusive. Like, you can only buy this on Sephora.com. But it's a dual phase eye makeup remover, which means it's kind of like you can see the line of separation and you shake it up before you use it. And it's um, oil-free and it's supposed to be really, really gentle and non-irritating for your eye area. Lately, anything that I've been using to take off my eye makeup has really, really been causing me a lot of, like, discomfort and sensitivity on my eyes and it's just not been feeling good like even bioderma really started like messing up my eyes like really bad so I had to stop using that um so I was looking for a new eye makeup remover and I came across this one and it had great reviews it's not supposed to um irritate your eyes at all and I use this once I use this to take off um some glitter shadow that I had on one day and it really worked ah, I'm so excited about this this is the Kevin Aquan Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting and you guys have probably seen this on Jacqueline Hill's channel she like literally raves about this she used it in I think foundation routine or a tutorial she's used it a bunch of times and mentioned it a bunch of times um, and this is how it looks right there. Packaging is really, really fancy like all the other Kevin Aquan products. And this is just um, an illuminating kind of liquid. 
that you can mix into your foundation or use as a primer to add radiancy to any foundation and it's just like liquid gold like this stuff looks like gold to me I don't know if you can see it right there um it just oh my god I put it on my face today I've used it under my foundation today because I really wanted to see how it worked and it's just like amazing it's like you have gold on your face um I really like it and it was so expensive and it was always sold out like once the VIB sale started it was sold out I was literally stalking the website because I was like I want to get it for 15% off I'd so expensive it's like $52 for this bottle like the skinny ass bottle was like $52 so I was like stalking the website stalking one night at like I, I'm gonna say like midnight I went on and it was back in stock I like added it to my cart right away because ever since she mentioned this in her videos it's been sold out. So. The next thing that I picked up is this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I just got the travel version or like the mini version just because I've never tried this before. And I wanted to make sure I liked it before I picked up like the huge $40 tub of this stuff. So it comes with a little puff and this is the way it looks. It's the same size as the Secret Brightening Powder. If you have that from Laura Mercier, if you buy the mini of the translucent setting powder, that's exactly the size you'll get. So I want to use this like as an all over face setting powder and I heard Manny MUA who I love so much talk about this and like rave about it. So I wanted to give it a try. Hopefully I like it. I don't really have any setting powders right now. I ran out of my NARS crystal translucent setting powder a little while ago and I just haven't picked up a new one. The next thing that I picked up is this Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner and I got it in the shade Sepia and this is the way it looks. It's just a regular eyeliner and the reason that I bought this is because I saw Huda Beauty here on YouTube use it in like um, a get ready with me kind of tutorial and she just looked phenomenal with this shade on her like her lower lash line like waterline area. I mean like she's gorgeous anyway but this shade just like popped in her like lash line so I was like oh my god I want that shade so bad and when I went in and swatched it I was like wow this shade is like really really different from anything that I have I'll swatch it for you um that's the way it looks right there it's just I guess it is just like a sepia shade it's just kind of like metallic -y, brown bronzy kind of in the middle of gold and bronze um, so I like it. I'm excited to kind of play with it. I haven't tried it yet, but um, hopefully it looks half as pretty on me as it did on her. The next thing that I picked up was the Sephora um, eye mask, and I bought two different kinds. I bought the Lotus eye mask, which is moisturizing and smoothing, and then I bought the Rose eye mask, which is ultra moisturizing and brightening. So I thought I'd pick up two. They were only $5, and a lot of people seem to like their all-over face mask. I haven't tried any of those before. These are just eye masks that kind of go like right in this area. Um, and $5 is really cheap for an eye mask. A lot of the eye masks that are on the market right now are super expensive, so I thought I would give these to a try. The next thing that I picked up is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. And these are new to Sephora as well. They're getting a lot of buzz. Um, they're so pretty. They come in the same packaging as the, um, Ambient Lighting Powders. If you have any of those, they're the same size. Um, and there's two shades. There's Radiant Bronze and Luminous Bronze. And I got Luminous, which is the lighter one. Um, I use it today. I don't think, um, you'll be able to catch it on camera. It's just a really soft, kind of healthy bronze. A lot of people are saying that it leans orange. And it does. It looks really, really warm and orange. If you can see it right there. Um, but I think that's the point. I heard, um... Tati from Glam Life Guru talk about them and she just said they're supposed to just give you a healthy kind of radiance and warmth to your skin. So this isn't a contouring or matte bronzer or anything like that. It is supposed to make you look healthy and warm and luminous and radiant. So I really like this. Um, I tried it today. It is pricey. It is very expensive. It's $50. You do get a lot of product in here. Well, I don't really know, but it's heavy. That kind of threw me off. Does anybody else think it kind of smells? Or is that just mine? Because I'll take it back. Because I think it kind of smells weird. Like, I can't smell it on my face. But it smells like paint. Oh my god, is that mine? Please somebody comment and say if theirs smells a little bit weird. Because I'll take this bitch back. 
Okay, and then only a few more things. Um, I picked up one of the new Sephora blushes. They're called Colorful Blushes. And they come in like so many different shades. But I really liked this one. This one's the one that caught my eye. It is number number one. It's number one, Shame on You. And it's just a pretty kind of mauve pink, peachy shade that I love. So I just had to pick it up. Um, these, I think, were like $16. See the swatches right there. I think these were like $16. Um, they're really pretty, really pigmented. I have a little bit on my cheek today. I mixed it in with another blush um, just to see how this was. And I do like it. It's um, very pretty, a very wearable shade, and it comes in like 25 different shades. So yeah, check I picked up is this YSL Gloss Volupt in 20 Nude Carrot. Pretty sure you guys have seen the shade. This was like a shade that everybody wanted. It was sold out on Sephora's website for like so long. The packaging is just so pretty. It's just the prettiest nude gloss. I'm gonna put some on. Oh, and then I think I'm on the last thing, finally. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> I lied. Okay, and then like three more things. Um, I picked up this La Vanilla The Healthy Body Butter and this is in the super sensitive version which pretty much means this is the most boring body lotion you've ever seen in a haul. It's fragrance-free, has no fragrance. It's for people like me who break out from like literally anything. Um, but I just wanted this because I recently picked up a new self-tanner and I wanted something that I can put on before the tanner that will help, you know, it look better and not cling to dry patches, but I wanted to make sure it was... Um, safe for me and wouldn't make me break. Like I said, I picked up a new self tanner. I'm just going to mention it now. It is by Loving Tan and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this all over. Um, the first person I did hear about this from was Jacqueline Hill. She mentioned it and she gave out coupon codes that gave you like free shipping because I think shipping used to be like $20 to the US because they're from like Australia. Um, but it gave you free shipping and it came with an exfoliating mitt so when you're ready I guess to take off the tan or exfoliate before you put on the tan, um, you have that. And I got mine in Ultra Dark. It's the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. So that's the reason I got the lotion is because I don't want to look patchy and I don't want to have those self-tan wrists. And yeah, I'm hoping it goes well because I really want to stay out of the sun this summer. Like, there's just no good from tanning. Like, no good comes from that at all. Um... I mean, like, if I'm out, like, if I go camping or if I'm, uh, like, by the pool or at a park and I just get kind of sun in that way, that's fine. But I don't want to lay out anymore. Like, I used to lay out and, like, fry every day in the backyard. And I don't want to do that anymore because there's just no good that comes out of that. So that is why I picked this up. And it is also the reason I picked this up, which is the James Reed Tanning Mint. And this is just a brand... Um, a sunless tanning brand that's sold at Sephora. They're from the UK. And I just got their mitt because a lot of people were saying, like, great things about this mitt. This mitt has, like, five-star reviews. Um, and it's just a regular mitt. Um, but, yeah, it's only $8, and I figured I'd pick this up. It had the best reviews out of all the other mitts that were available on Sephora.com. So, just decided to go with that one. Okay, then, like, three more things. <laughs> I keep saying that. Um, I picked up this Super Goop Akai Fusion Lip Balm with Shea Butter and SPF 30. This is just a lip balm by the brand Super Goop. It had really, really, really good reviews. And I tried it once, and it smells like, like banana boat. It smells like, I guess, the SPF in here really kind of overpowers everything. But it's good, and it's not oily, it's not greasy. And I like it, and I'll just be throwing this into my makeup bag and my purse. And then the very last thing that I picked up, I'm so happy, I got my first NARS Audacious Lipstick. And I picked the shade Barbara. It's what I have on my lips right now, but I did put lip gloss and stuff over it. Um, it's just, the packaging is so pretty. I've never had one of these, so I'm like all new about it. Um, it's like a magnetic closure. It's such sleek packaging. The color is so pretty to me. Like, I just picked a neutral color because... I wear nudes every single day of my life, so really, really like it. It's just a pretty, pretty tan rose shade. Um, there it is right there. So I'm really happy with the shade that I picked. These lipsticks are super expensive, so I wanted to make sure I picked a shade that um, I was going to get wear out of and like use out of, and I think I picked the right one. It's just a really, it doesn't wash you out. It's not too dark. It's not too mauve -y. It's just like the perfect in-between. So 
Um, yeah, I really like that then, one. Then, really quickly, I'm done with Sephora, but I just wanted to mention one thing that I picked up from Target because it's just too cute not to mention. It's this Sonia Kashuk Limited Edition Spring Brush Set, and it is just the prettiest thing ever. These brushes are just, like, so pretty. They're hot pink. The handles just scream like spring. I'm just, like, in love with these. And in that collection, this new spring collection at Target, they also had makeup brush holders and I was like dying over these I knew I needed these um they're just like so pretty they're really big and like really sturdy they have like a pair of hot pink lips they're like gold trims I love them the brushes look so pretty in here so cute like stop this just looks like so pretty it looks so pretty sitting on my vanity so I'm obsessed with this stop I will die right now how cute does this look my bedellium tools like the purple ones with these pink ones, stop. No, seriously, stop. So that was it. That was everything that I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale. Um, it was kind of a lot of stuff, but these are things that have been on my, like, loves list on Sephora for a really long time. So I figured that I would just take advantage of this sale. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see any reviews or anything on any of the products that I picked up, just let me know or leave me a comment below. I think the next video that I'm going to be working on is my makeup collection because that is a video that has been probably like my second most requested video after like a hair care routine which I have to film as well I'm sorry um <clears throat> but this will probably be my last haul for a very long time and I know I sound like a broken record because I always say this is going to be my last haul for quite some time but um I think it is I kind of calm down for a little bit and next month is my birthday so I want to save money because I kind of want to gift myself a camera for my birthday I use a really really crappy not crappy it works for me it's good but it's just a point-and-shoot camera it's not like a Canon Nikon whatever with a lens no it's just a point-and-shoot digital camera I'm gonna try to save my money this month so I can be able to do that and then I can be able to film better clearer quality videos and my battery won't die in like 30 minutes like it does all the time so yeah that was it if you like this video make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys